Mr. Foot Locker himself. I don't think this can. Hold on, hold on. I don't think we can see the deadpan just quite. There it is. So this is the sneaker cam. This huge contraption, all for that one shot. A little overexposed right now. Slowly but surely. <laughs> is that really the actual speed? I'm we sure do, they speed it up in we post. We do a right? couple passes. One's like a nice slower and smoother pass. And then a couple more are a little quicker and they kind of can pick the best one and then speed it up in post. Oh. So today, uh, for Full Size Run, we have a very special guest who enjoys himself uh, some herbal herbal some remedies. Some um, oregano? Some, yeah, some herbal, you know, remedies. Okay. So what we're doing here is taking a generic black low sneaker. You know, it's obviously not any specific silhouette. Just a black sneaker. And we're, okay, uh, fair enough. We're trying to create a bong where he can smoke out of. Look at that. Does that work? I feel like there's too much... It'll work. Once yeah. I'm done with my, uh, you know, engineering. Okay. It'll, it'll work. And yeah, what man. is that a crown royal? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is where you put your herbs. Oh, I thought you know, your herbs and spices. You know what I was talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one shoes to smoke out of. This one is for, rock. is for wealthy. <laughs> it's for wealthy to drink a beer out of. Oh, for real? For real. All right. Okay. So, All right. I guess people got to tune into the next episode. Oh, of man. It's going to be a special one. You're not going to want to miss this for okay. sure. Okay. All right. I had a chance to watch the Shoes. Devontae Adams. Yes, yeah, sir. Shout out to Devontae good. Adams, man. That dude is a cool dude, man. He's very good cool. energy. He kind of reminded me of uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. He just like yeah, athlete kept it real. Athlete energy. You know, they're smart. They went to college. So they're not idiots. They know how to talk. They have public relations skills. But they also like still them at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, how they grew up, you know what I'm saying, one of the key things that kind of stuck with me, stuck with me from his interview was, he was like, well, I couldn't get anything in college, I couldn't afford it, so now, you know, he's been successful, earned everything he got, and buy every shoe I want, sounds like my type of, uh, you know, memoir. Okay, question, is this show heavily predicated on the guest? This show has become very, the guests have become a strong part of this show, but I feel at the end of the day that it's for the fans, you know what I'm saying? The show is for the fans. I feel like you want us to be talking to the guests. That's what it's about. Like having the guests, of course, is one thing, mm. but you want the three-headed monster opinion of Welty, myself, and Brendan from these guests. You know, we're going to have our opinion each week on every shoe that comes out. That's just like any real sneakerhead or OG in the game, per se, like the three of us. But you want guests to be asked questions from people who you actually trust. And I feel like that's where the couch and the show comes in. Also, who came up with that cheese concept? Cheese content. Uh, I think it was a collective edit, a collective uh, group idea. Okay. Were, you know, being cheese head, blah, blah, blah. You know, we were keep it fun. Price is right. I can tell that one take where you threw it on Brendan was the original take because that cheese was supposed to stick on his it's head. It's supposed to stick, man. It's supposed to stick, you know. <laughs> you know, when you have an organic body like Brendan Dunn, things don't, you know, foul things don't stick to your body. You know? <laughs> okay. You know, no, for sure, for sure. By the way, earlier today I stopped by the Adidas flagship store on Fifth Avenue to check out this custom Game of Thrones throne. So with the official release of the Game of Thrones Ultra Boost collab, Adidas has built this custom throne made out of the Ultra Boost. It is going to be available for photo ops throughout the entire weekend at the flagship store on Fifth Ave in New York City. The Targaryens is my favorite. We got the White Walkers, the Lannisters, the Night's Watch, the female Targaryens, and of course the Stark. I'm impressed. A lot of detail is put into this throne. I'm a big fan. A little details about the collaboration with the box. Adidas Game of Thrones all over the place. Bam. You got another one here. Bam. Verify it. 
Where's the shoe? <laughs> the shoes are on my feet. A little more details about the Knight's watch. As you can see on the, the back heel tab right here, it says Knight's watch. Right there, Knight gathers, and now my watch begins. Cool. Subtle details. This feels like leather. Yeah, it's a leather, leather cage right here. Moving along to the Stark. Oh, look at this. It's like a, it's a gray wolf. And then on the hue tab, it says winter is coming. Winter is no longer coming. Uh, it's about to be spring. <laughs> also, who's ready for season eight, huh? Final season? Okay, this is the Lannister right here. Heel tab says, hear me roar. And then over here, it has like a, a lion's emblem. Right now, it's emblem. And of course, the Targaryens. It says fire and blood on the heel tab. And then here is the three-headed dragon. Shout out Khaleesi. And this is the female version of the Targaryen. Fire and blood here. It's all white. Three-headed dragon right there. And then finally, the White Walkers. Winter is here. And you have like, a, I guess it's like a snow vortex right here. Simple. There it is. All six shoes from the Game of Thrones. Rowan, how's the perfect bracket holding up? Oh, my perfect bracket. It's great. My both of my final um, teams are still in. So that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <They're> great. <laughs> it looks like you have no idea. Um, excuse me. I'm a former sports editor, right. so I do know what I'm talking about. Thank okay. you. Um, my final eight teams are all still in it. So. I'm all, doing great. That doesn't all mean those, anything. All those buzzwords. I love all the teams for the sport. Right now, Joe, who's winning? Who's winning this? Uh, <laughs> Can't they just keep calling? <laughs> no, who's gonna win March Madness? Do you even know who's in, what teams are in? Absolutely. Joe's like Zion. <laughs> Zion's gonna win. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Cool. Other bracket. Zion. Also, Josh. Oh shit. And Ja! <laughs> ja Rule? Ja Rule. Ja Rule. From last night, Murray State. Oh, Talking Ja. I, I know, I thought Joe was just saying. Uh -oh. Are we ready? I, Duke's winning. So, I went to see Hall. Not Duke. I went to see Hall. Ja and Zion are winning. Zion. Just those two players are going to win. I went to Duke and I'm a Knicks fan and I want Zion on the Knicks. So I'm rooting for Duke. See, Joe and I are saying. And take from Mother. Kyrie, too. Damn. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna get um, sneaker shopping alum Kyrie Irving and oh, wow. potential sneaker shopping guest Kevin Durant. Speak on it, Queen. And <laughs> yes, speak on it. And then, and then also future sneaker shopping guest Zion Williamson. It's gonna be great. There we go. Like That'll how, be the next. I like how we're sure about Zion. Katie, we're like, meh, yep. we'll see what happens. Yes, we want Zion more than we want Katie. Facts. Big facts. All right, thanks, Tony. <laughs> okay, all right. I heard the phone was ringing. In the 94s, they call me. <laughs> <laughs>